тестингах. Лайк Тесла. Think like Tesla, Micah here. Greetings, everyone. Coming to you from the locked down Silicon Valley headquarters. Just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about misinformation. Now, in uh, so-called homeopathic medicine, the active ingredient gets diluted down so many times that statistically speaking, there's probably not even any molecules of it left. So it's the definition basically of a sham treatment. Very useful for studying placebo effects or for controls in a study where you need to know for sure that something is having no chemical effect, biological effect. And there is a lot of misinformation going around these days. It's kind of crazy. Let's look at the information version of homeopathic medicine, flat earth thinking. What I've got here is the FAQ page for the Flat Earth Society. Let's take a look at it and see if we can identify any tips or tricks on how to spot misinformation. Okay. Frequently asked question number one, are you serious? Not a good sign when that's your first question. Points for honesty though, yes. Are you controlled opposition? I don't even know what that means. So uh, maybe you have to deduct a point for honesty. I don't think that's a frequently asked question. Is the flat earth connected to any religion? I don't care. What is some of the evidence you have? Okay, here we go. It says, the horizon always rises to meet eye level which is impossible on a ball earth. That is a weird thing to say. If we were positioned over an infinite plane, and if you were looking straight out, you know, line of sight, line of sight parallel to the ground, it would never touch the horizon, obviously. But if you look down even a fraction of a degree, it would eventually, your line of sight would, would uh, intersect with the ground. So it would seem like the horizon comes right up to your eye level. And that would be true no matter how high you were above the plane. Is that what we actually see? Well, we have uh, air. Air isn't perfectly transparent. The farthest things you might ever see would be mountains. But when you look at mountains that are far in the far away, they can almost look like clouds. They're very pale. Things tend to get lighter in the distance and less distinct. So if the horizon was really far away, if you're looking down one millionth of a degree, it would be thousands and thousands and thousands of, of kilometers away. It would look like those distant mountains, but we don't see that. We actually see a crisp horizon. This is one of those situations where if you just stop and think about something for even a minute, if you draw a little sketch, you can see that what they're talking about makes no sense at all. There's no visible curvature to the horizon, even from airplanes. Remember that in a minute here. It says we don't even have a full shot of the Earth rotating from space. So A, that has nothing to do with whether the Earth is flat or not. Um, B, you do understand that the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate, right? So from space, you'd have to have, find a place where you could stay in one position above the rotating Earth for 24 hours. It doesn't work like that. It's just a silly thing to, to say. Okay, what about pictures from space? We can't trust photographic evidence. Okay, you did a good job making your case here, guys. Now, it's my understanding that the Flat Earth Society is rejected even by many professed Flat Earthers. So this is the cream of the cream of the misinformation. Well, astronauts, most Flat Earthers think, some believe, in a FAQ, you try to be concise. You put your most compelling arguments up front. And here their most compelling arguments are about most flat earthers and what some believe. Why would people lie about the shape of the earth? Oh, good question. To maintain legitimacy. We faked the moon landing. Okay. Uh, to hide the truth of the Bible. Um, okay. And to gain power and money. <laughs> What does the map of the flat earth look like? It looks like a broken image. How can one circumnavigate the earth? Simply traveling a circular path around the North Pole. You know, if you circumnavigated on the equator though, you'd be traveling in a straight line. If you make a circular path around the North Pole, you would actually be constantly turning. So that's kind of different. Day and night, the sun simply illuminates only a portion of the earth at a time. 
This also explains time zones. Um, the sun only illuminates a portion of the earth at a time, which explains time zones. Mm. No, I'm not getting it. Okay, can't you see the curvature from an airplane? It says, even if the earth was a globe, this would be an impossibility. So the thing that a few questions back, they cited as evidence of the flat earth, in the same page they say that it would be an impossibility even if the earth was a globe. Okay, so I assess and satellites, Genu it is generally agreed upon. Wow, that's the weasliest, weasliest of weasel words. They're not actual satellites, but pseudolites or stratolites put there to fool us. I don't think either of those words mean what you think they mean. Try Googling pseudolite and see what you find. What is gravity? Gravity as a theory is false. Yeah, that's convincing. Objects simply fall. Mechanics like electromagnetism. So first of all, electromagnetism is not mechanics. Second of all, uh, don't conductors and non-conductors fall exactly the same way? So scratch out that one. Density, uh, why would things fall down? Why not sideways or up if there's a difference in density? Doesn't explain it. I think you guys get the picture here, but this is so good. <laughs> All right, is the Earth accelerating upwards? No, this is a popular theory among some small groups to explain gravity, but it is problematic at best, you think? A flat Earth accelerating constantly upward is actually less wacky than about half the stuff on this page here. Last one, what is the dome, the firmament, the vault of heaven? So what I would like to see anyone tell me is list me a testable physical property of this dome. Does it reflect radio waves? Can it bounce radar signals? Does light pass through it? Does it bounce off? Tell me about it. Tell me something measurable about this. Some Native American tribes are said to see the sky like a tent. The stars, they're like little holes poked in the hide of the tent. That's actually, I like that picture. That's a, that's a nice way to describe the sky. It's very poetic. But if you take thousands of miles of animal hide, they don't form a dome shape, do they? And then it says, as a scientific explanation, it serves very well. I don't think you know what a scientific explanation actually means. All right, so what have we learned from this? One, so I would say, if your only source of information is looking at YouTube videos, I don't think you have earned the ability or the right to buy into these sweeping conspiracy theories. You need to rely on experts. You need to rely on people who have spent their whole lives, their whole careers learning about stuff. And if something, if, if a message comes across your Twitter stream or your social media and it says something that seems agreeable to you, it's really tempting just to hit that forward button or the retweet button. Resist the urge to do that. Take a minute and verify things that come through. Not everything that people are saying is accurate or even worth repeating. Even if it is accurate, some things are not helpful. Some things can cause panic or, or just annoy people or frighten people. And that's not what we need right now. We need to be calm and steady and careful and aware of what's going on. And we need to take reasonable precautions. So everyone keep washing your hands, keep social distancing, and we will get through this. Take care, everyone.